before I start this video, if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation, anything, first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and I will show up directly. Five more minutes and then we're gonna be there at Trier Hopano. Alright guys, so we have reached here in Trier, Hauptbahnhof. So this is now going to Mannheim and we're just heading out now. So from here I'm straight away going to the university and we're gonna see the city. Uh, first we'll cover the university and then we'll come back to the city center. Where are you from? You're so far away. I'm going to go to the morning at 6 o'clock. Why are you north and west? Oh my god, I started my journey in Berlin. Berlin to Frankfurt, Frankfurt to Koblenz, Koblenz to... Three Alright, so uh, as soon as you are out, uh, this is what you get to see. There is a bus stop on the right hand side. Right bus stop? Yeah, yeah. Central bus stop is right here. Where is the taxi stand here? Taxi is also stand here. Oh, here, this way. Ah, here, here, okay. Okay. So if somebody is flying here for the very first time, what flight route would you suggest them to take? And how do they get to Trier? Yeah, like uh, you took from Frankfurt. Yeah. Uh, till Koblenz yeah. and from Koblenz till Trier. Is that how you also came? Yeah, yeah I also came like that, okay. only in the same way. <laughs> what's what's the city known for, if people may want to know? Yeah, it's uh, a very old, it is one of the oldest city of Germany and uh, it's in the border of um, Luxembourg and it is also famous for wine yards. Yeah. And it's very historical uh, city with historical monuments, um, right. use some UNESCO heritage sites also. Mm -hmm. uh, Karl Marx was born here. Yeah, city. yeah. And I think his house is now a museum. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Let's head towards the bus stop then. Yeah. Okay. This is the where the taxi stand is and the uh, bus stop is right here. So what bus number will take me straight to the university campus? University campus, uh, Tarfos will go 83, okay. bus number 13 also okay. and for campus 2 it's 85. So there are two campuses here? Yeah. It's How far are they from each other? They are not very far from campus 1 to campus 2 it's only 1.5 kilometers. And where do you study? I study in campus 1, uh, actually some of the subjects are in campus 2. Uh, for you? For, for me, it's a data science, it's totally in campus one. And okay. uh, for environmental sciences, mostly in campus so two. Since we are waiting for a bus to arrive, uh, let me show you something. This bus is straight away going to take you to Luxembourg. It only takes 40 minutes to reach. If there are ID card, there are student ID card, they go to Luxembourg. Mm -hmm. Allowed, right? Allowed. I was in Saarbrücken, Saarland University. They were allowed. Tha. हाँ हाँ अब लक्समबर्ग में तो ऐसा था कि पहले एम कार्ड बनवाना पड़ता था लेकिन अब हमारी यूनिविवर्सिटी के कार्ड में ही सब अलाउड है और विदिन लक्समबर्ग ऑल फ्री ट्राम बस सब फ्री है और ये स्टेट में तो है ही राइनलैंड में तो है ही हाँ राइनलैंड में तो है ही लक्समबर्ग की तो गवर्नमेंट ने ही फ्री कर दिया है सब हाँ 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 नहीं सर कब गया था लास्ट 
तुम कौन सा अच्छा गया था ओके हाँ भाई जा चुके हैं क्योंकि इंडियन शॉप्स जो हैं एशियन शॉप्स प्रॉपर इंडियन मार्केट वो ट्रियर में नहीं है अच्छा तो मैं अगर अपनी देसी सब्जी चाहिए देसी मसाले चाहिए तो वो लक्समबर्ग जाना पड़ता है वन ऑफ द रिचेस्ट कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड यू गो दैट टू बाय वेजिटेबल नाइस है अच्छा आई वुड रन रन अवे आई डोंट हैव टू प्लान इट आई कैन गो चेंज माय फेस यू वोंट अंडरस्टैंड इट All alone that's okay people like it stand man they don't want me to change keep me where i'm stand kitne the reason that's right that's right oh we're getting off at university can university yes ha oh sir dog yeah. So this is where we are. We took 83 number. Yeah. Tar Fort. Yeah, Tar Fort is a like district kind of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. this is where we, everything is right here. This is campus one. This is campus. Okay. And campus two is which way? Campus two is uh, that way. This way. 1.5 kilometers. 1.5 kilometers from University bus stop. Yeah. Okay. So this is where we got down, and then we started walking. through all of this place uh, there there are hostels on the campus here yeah there are this like as we can see in the map these are the hostels in yellow mm -hmm. so this is the university whole campus hostels are on the campus almost on the campus we can say right and then there are other buildings right here inside and this is campus 1 one. one quick question for you what is the cost of living here as a student yeah actually cost of living uh, comprises three four things like first our room mm -hmm. so room here cost is between 250 to 300 max uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh, groceries you can say uh, 80 to 100 euros in a month this i am saying maximum mm -hmm. and uh, for insurance is 105 and 110 mm -hmm. for insurance so all together is almost 500 to 600 euros All right guys so we are about to begin the campus tour I'm right outside the the university trier and uh, this is the main entrance of the university so let's begin I will run run away I don't have to plan it I can go change my fate you won't understand it. Alone, that's okay. People like it, stand man. They don't want me to change. Keep me where I'm standing. Alright, so right opposite to building number D, which is uh, psychology, right? Psychology. Yeah, yeah, that's psychology. psychology. Uh, where are we right now? Uh, we are at the front of the bibliotheque. When was the last time you were here? <laughs> it, it it's a difficult question <laughs> <laughs> because before Corona, I think, but now it's open with registration. You can go yeah. inside the building. Yeah, this is where the entrance is. Is this like the main square of the university? Yeah, almost. Yeah, like this is the it's main mensa area. where all the people like uh, this for a break for after the class. Yeah. We all it's sometimes sit point here. People. Yeah. Where is mensa? This is the auditorium. Mensa auditorium. Ah, okay. Both both are here. Library just doesn't end. <laughs> yeah, this is whole library. This. Uh, all the way the green buildings, eh? Yeah. This Not the blue ones, okay. And then this is the main square. Uh, one thing what I've noticed about Trier is that the campus is not that big, but like they have everything like right around the space. So at this moment we are right in front of auditorium as well as the cafeteria, the mensa. I'm pretty sure when the university must be on, there must be a lot of crowd here, huh? Yeah, it's it's really happening here. So many students are there, and uh, we all together sit in a. Uh, in summer, especially, it's really uh, good. to sit in a group outside so there are a lot of other buildings around this space we will be showing them uh, very closely to you we showed the the library right here and then the mensa is right here just a quick question what sim cards do you use here aldi 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 yeah. even i use aldi okay oto i think oto is better but the, none of you guys use the the prepaid or postpaid do you use postpaid i use postpaid yeah. how much do you pay a month uh 8 8 euro per month 
and for uh, two years of contract yeah exactly and what about like a local bank account where do you have your bank accounts uh, spark asa we generally spark asa. like everybody yes. prefers spark asa because it is more convenient all over germany uh uh-huh. spark asa spark asa spark asa spark asa Deutsche Bank. Um, you? You, I'm also using Spark. Uh, I already asked him what his cost of living is for a month. Mm-hmm. Can you give us an impression? What is your cost of living uh, for a month is now? My cost of living is around 450 euros. That includes what? Uh, that includes uh, uh, rental and then uh, the health insurance and even groceries. Yeah. Is it somewhat similar? Yeah, it's 500 to 530. Uh, for me as well, around 500 euros. and i would say that if you are living in a student dorm then it's a bit cheaper but if you are living uh, in some private accommodation then it's more so i am living in student accommodation so it's around 500 what about you for me it's approx around 500 so basically the average is like 400 to 500 yeah. right and what about like part time job situations here is someone doing a part time job here right now um, you yeah. doing i'm what? currently working in restaurant so basically when i come to germany so uh even i couldn't find a, uh, initially i couldn't find a part time job uh-huh. so because it's a small city so it's it's a bit difficult to find the jobs in the restaurant and we all know like due to corona pandemic so we lost our jobs and because of the lockdown situation uh-huh. so and now everything is open so again i started working in restaurant okay. as a part time so does that require a bit of german uh i think so because i working uh, as a food waiter Okay. So I need to speak sometimes uh, with the customer. I deal with the customers if they need okay. something or extra something like that. So you learn before coming? Uh, yeah. What I, level? Yeah. Uh, till even I have I have done in India uh-huh. and then I have started here and I have finished here till A2. A2. Till A2 I know. Okay. But when I communicating when when you started communicating with the Germans then definitely you can uh, you can practice yourself and you can bit. Uh, more learn about the german okay. so. if we see for the logistics because i feel if it's working uh, part time here you you might find more of logistic jobs here because uh, trier is most probably a sorting area for a lot of places be it sabrukin or be it luxembourg so we have a lot of uh, logistics jobs here and they are easy to avail and they don't actually require any jo- german qualifications or any of that sort so it's easy and yeah it's actually a big advantage if you know german language then you can get your job easily and you can work in different places if you have good german you can also work in offices after coming here and uh, also another uh, possibility for working is uh, at university you can do lots of heavy job there are some projects that you can work in so but yeah in conclusion i would say that learn german and then it's recommended to come to germany okay so where are we right now um so we are at v building and uh, in this building you get a lot of information on your arrival and here is also international office so you can get information on that and regarding your enrollments enrollment uh, semester fee recharge and everything you can do it here and okay. also regarding uh, your department information examination everything is done at v building so as a student you can't skip this building no mm-hmm. okay no, so no, on no. day 1 you have to come here for enrollment yes. right yeah so for from my experience i would say that here i came for the first time and then um, they asked me for all the documents that i should be having and uh, my all procedures were done here on my first day so with that being said uh, make sure that you're carrying all your original documents because on day 1 they will uh, officially make you a student here in this country uh, in this country as well as in this university of course and then that uh, will be then further move moved on with having your student id card and other procedures what is required so where are we right now so this is study work this is the main point of contact for all students and especially the ones who stay in the student housing here so we have like four different student owners which is student housing and they are tuffers petrisburg olivig and kleburgweg and here uh, we can contact them for everything basically so if you apply for student housing that will be uh, the office care of. yeah okay and this is right behind building number c Yeah. Yeah. Building number C, and then this is where the this office is. So you can see the V building, which I showed you already, the administration building. So yeah. So for uh, 
house contracts or collection of key uh, or coming and begging for a room <laughs> is this is a place yeah this is the place but okay. not for the get collection of keys that would be happening like when you move in in the student house okay so where are we right now uh we are right now at the building c and this building is all about our lectures that uh, lectures and our student rooms that are completely allowed for law economics and social sciences so we have big uh, podium rooms and also seminar rooms and there are auditoriums inside so all the student lectures and also our examinations take place here and except uh, social sciences we also have some other economic classes here or say data science classes and even environmental sciences classes here okay so yeah. this building number c is filled with a lot of classrooms basically. yeah we have a lot of classrooms here and yeah all the proof rooms like all our exams take place here uh, this is a our uh, university clubs that uh, that clubs uh, will help the students if they need any help related to project or something if they have any problems with the studies or something like that they definitely help and our culture and events also will take care of that clubs if you want to find any jobs in uh, university and in the in the trier region then definitely these clubs will help to find jobs and all here at uh, building a so uh, most of the our data science uh, classes are take tech place here and our examination most of the time uh, take place in, in this building i will run run away i don't have to plan it i can go change my fate you won't understand it all alone that's okay people like it stand them they don't want me to change keep me where i'm standing where are we right now building p here now and this is the very important building in our university because all the international students their orientation starts from here the first day of any international student starts here every year in the winter semester during the october and november months of uh, we have uh, seminars and lecture orientations for students they give us a lot of skills on hand skills they let us know about how to grab internships how to grab part time jobs so it's completely about your uh, international students here. we are at the building end n here now and this is the main bachelor's department we have bachelor's in that toxicology and biogeography here so this department is completely inclined towards na natural sciences and toxicology and we also have a toxicology lab there and yeah they have a big uh, all, all the government projects work here from trio university and um, this is also our language department okay we have a lot of international language classes going on here all the international students have free access to german classes and they take place in the building end